Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Superior Spider-Man issue number one. Been waiting for this one for a little while now. Very glad it's here. Hmm. Okay. Superior Spider-Man issue number one. Christos Gage is the writer. Mike Hawthorne is the penciler. Wade Von Grawbadger is the inker. Colorist Jordi Belair. VCs Clayton Cowles on letters. And the cover artist is Travis Cherest. Okay. Not too many uh, co variant cover artists. Mike Hawthorne and Jordi Belair. Another one by Marco Georgielovic. Dude, I, I, I hate that I don't know how to pronounce that name. <clears throat> so the designer is Anthony Gambino. And of course, Spider-Man was created by Stan Lee with Steve Ditko. So we get <laughs> Spidey fighting. The, he's not Spidey. Uh, Superior Spidey fighting against Stiltman. And I love that Stilt Man's like, you know, oh, I'm better than I used to ever be. I've got upgrades. Yeah, you can extend your fists now as well as your freaking legs. We actually saw this in, I think it was the final issue or one of the final issues, the, the Death of Daredevil, which uh, Mark, uh, Mark Wade, um, Charles Soule just finished up on literally this month. <laughs> so, uh, um you know, th this was actually cool that we get to see that he, that I guess this is technically the first official appearance of his extendable fists because the other one, the other version was just a dream technically. So you could argue either way on this. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, so yeah, he dispatches of him pretty quickly and I love it. After that, we, we see a little bit more into, actually a lot more into his life. He's, um, Dr. Otto Octavius this is the same superior Spider-Man as before. People are like, no, it's a different guy. No, he's calling himself Dr. Elliot Tolliver because that's a secret identity because everybody knows that, you know, Dr. Otto Octavius is a freaking evil SOB. So, you know, there's that. The trick is with all that, and as much as his students love him, he's a total celebrity on the uh, college scene, which is kind of freaking cool. All right, kind of cool. So he's kind of reminding me of a Jordan Peterson character. Um, I'm digging on that, you know, uh, cult of personality, baby, grab it, grab it while you can. So Maria though, Anna Maria, she's not dumb. And she knows that this is, well, she suspects, highly suspects enough that she rewired the, um, um, oh, what the heck is that stupid machine called? The, the living brain, <laughs> rewired the living brain to be tough. And he's still hysterical. He still does the word clicks and he's like, surrender or I will um, use lethal force on you or yeah, lethal force on you. If you do surrender, I will give you a tasty beverage. <laughs> this is the greatest. This is the absolute greatest. Please more living brain. <laughs> Especially like this dude. Always loved that character. Ever since he was rewritten. Uh, loved that character in the Superior Spider-Man stories. So yeah, we need more of that. Also, we need more of Anna Maria. So she is an absolute badass in this. Um, and so much, and badass is probably the wrong word. She's not kicking anybody's butts, although we know that she does have that capability just a little. Um, but she is, she's tough, all right? Like in her heart. One of the things I love about Anna Maria, probably one of the coolest of the newer characters who don't have a long, extensive history in the Marvel Universe, fairly recent, only the past, you know, not just this past decade, like the past five years or so, really. She, um, you know, she's a, a little person. And I never know exactly what the proper term is to use for them. Um, I remember at one point, um, dwarf was the acceptable word that I've heard little people say. And I always thought that was kind of weird because I played Dungeons and Dragons, but whatever. And, they, and now all of a sudden it's like, you can't use that word anymore. Okay, so I don't, you know, I'm not like, I'm not the most PC guy in the world because I don't always understand these things, but I do not want to insult anybody. So whatever the proper word is, please, by all means, pass it along. I will use that word. Um, but the latest I've heard, Little People is cool. All right. Uh, Little People, Big World, I think it was called that TV show. Anyway, so um, she is a little person. And on average, on average, a guy like me, I would think that most of these characters would be written in the way where they say like, you know, oh, well, I better just accept what I can. Because Unfortunately, that is a concept that a lot of us guys do have, all right? Like, I 100% put myself in that category. Yes, unfortunately. You know, oh, this girl's not that pretty. She should just accept whatever she can, she can get, right? Uh, a lot of times, guys will think that way because that's the way that they actually think. <laughs> so it's a bit of projection, all right? 
but at the same time, yeah, sometimes like, you know, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm talking to you, girl, and you know, you're, I don't see a whole bunch of other people talking to you. Okay, but that doesn't mean I have to talk to you. And that is who Anna Maria is, all right? Yeah, she's a little person. You might think right away, oh, she should just accept Otto. No, she sees him as a psychopath. And even before she saw him as a psychopath, she saw him as a liar. And she still didn't want to get back with him because of this. So I have seen people say, oh, she just wanted to get with Peter Parker. Um, in some ways, yes, I could see that. But um, Otto has still been extremely successful regardless. So I don't see her as a, as a cash grabber, as a gold digger, as a money grabber, anything like that. I, I see her as an actual real person who is resolute in her morals. And I love that about her. She is strong in that regard. That is the exact impression that I'm getting from this uh, this character representation right here. That this character, what the heck do I say? Anyway, the way that they're writing Anna Maria in this comic book, it's a continuation of that. And it seems a bit more stable because she is smart. And as she understands um, that, yes, he's a bad guy. I'm going to confront him. I'm not going to confront him alone because I do believe that he's crazy. Uh, but she's going to try and take control of a situation where she feels he is not in control of, but he's trying to. Love that about this character. Easily one of my favorite newer characters out there. Now, this is an issue one, so the only other really big thing that there could be spoiled in this comic book is that Terex shows up at the end. You guys remember Terex, right? I'll show you a picture really quick. Um, he is, actually, I'll just show you the uh, image for next week's issue. Terex, the dude with that big halberd. You know, saying he's the former Herald of Galactus. And he was actually the bad one. Because remember, most of the time, we'd see the Silver Surfer, Frankie Ray, Nova, that version. Excuse me, a whole bunch of characters who, you know, even like the Fire Lord, for the most part, we'd seen that a lot of these characters weren't actually evil characters. They didn't want the destruction of all these worlds. They were just trying to do it. They were in it for their own reasons, just like the Silver Surfer, you know? Um... Terex was actually someone who took great delight in seeing the people destroyed. I mean, he was a wicked, evil SOB. Uh, utter mastery over the earth, and by that I mean the ground, dirt, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rock, stone, stuff like that. So this is not somebody that freaking uh, Superior Spider-Man is going to walk up to and get into a fist fight with and win. No, 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 no. If he even wins, it's going to be because he's smart as hell. <laughs> so I am greatly looking forward to and seriously anticipating what direction Christos Gage is going to go in in the next um, issue because holy crap, <laughs> this looks good. So uh, this would probably have to be my pick of the week. I know scarce pickings because there's not a lot of comic books that came out this week, but nonetheless, this was incredible. I loved this. All right, guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University, class dismissed.